Did you see me and my brother having summer fun with straw rockets? Well, guess what? I'm gonna show you how to make one now. Okay, so I'm gonna explain to you the science and engineering after we finish making our fun straw rocket. You'll be needing scissors, roll of tape, a straw, of course, and one or two sheets of paper. So first, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our straw and keep it about there. So halfway through the paper, so about right there would be mine. And now, let's take our scissors and make a little snip. Just at the edge. Okay. Now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take that snip and make it longer. So, that piece of paper can wrap once or twice around the straw. So first, I'm gonna keep some tape ready. Okay, so, there we go. I'm gonna keep two or three pieces of tape. Remember, be careful with your scissors. Let's take your scissors and cut. Well, I think mine should go up to there. Okay, so like that. And then cut down. Okay, there. This is what my piece of paper looks like. You well, make your straw rocket, make it so this piece of paper that the straw can go inside of it and out easily. Okay, so I'm gonna place my straw here, and then roll it lightly so the straw can come inside and go outside by just pulling on it lightly. Okay, there we go. This is what mine looks like. So it can slide in and out pretty easily. Next, let's take our paper again. Now, let's cut out a square. So, not a tiny square, but a square about the size of my palm. Oh, that big. So, now, um, pretty easy for me. I can just place my palm down and see about that much. So I make a little snip. Now, as you can see, I have my square. And now, hold one corner regularly like that. Make it so the person in front of you, or basically you're seeing the back of your hand. So I'm seeing the back of my hand and you're seeing my palm. Now roll it like that to make a cone. Then wrap around. There we go. That's better. Let's take that. And then take it down. And boom. Now I have my cone. Now. We need to make this cone shorter. Way too long to be a nose of a rocket. But also remember, less tape, less paper. That means the farther you fly, because it's lighter. So I'll explain you the science later after I finish making. So right about there or something, but we need it to be shorter. So there we go. This is a nose for a straw rocket. Take one end and fit it into there. That easy. You will be needing tape now to make the fins. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our fins. This is how I make my fins out of tape. So let's take a little piece of tape and scissors over there. Now let's cut a little piece. Actually, let's cut four little pieces of tape. So we'll be needing four fins. 
Make sure the pieces of tape are the same size. Let's take this piece of tape. And now don't close it all the way together, but just take it and fold it about halfway. So right about there. So it's gonna look like that. Not sure if you can see it, but I think you can. Okay. Now, let's stick it to the bottom of our straw rock. Sorry about there. Now, as you can see, this is a square or a rectangle. Now, let's take our scissors and make this a triangle. So let's snip at the corner right there, all the way to the top of the tape like that. So now as you can see, it is a triangle now. You can try it as a rectangle, but I'm pretty sure it won't fly in a straight line and just go everywhere and be just a mess. So now let's do repeat the same steps as what we did for the first one. Okay, so I decided to secure my tip because every single time when I was trying to put the fin on, it just kept falling off. So I'll show you how to secure the tip. So we'll be needing two pieces of tape. Let's take one right about there. Then wrap it around the cone. That just stop right about there. So next, put this all the way in as far as it can go. Press down, continue wrapping. Now, all you need to do to make this straw rocket work or anyone, just put the straw through there. Make sure you don't put it in too tight so don't shove it in. Then don't aim at this for anyone or basically anything which you don't want to be like broken or like hurt. So, three, two, one. Whoa, that was good. So now, if you have a bendable straw, you can try doing this. Making it longer, see if it makes any difference. And now, this is what I like to try. Doing this, shooting it straight up and making it land down. So I'm just gonna grab the rocket and do that. Now, first I'll tell you the three points. So a rocket has to go through something called drag. It's basically a force of air that the rocket has to push through. So let's say it's a really windy day and you blow the rocket against the air. So the wind's coming this way, you blow the rocket. What's gonna happen? Yes, the wind is gonna push the rocket back and not make it land very far. But this is the wind, you blow the rocket that way, what do you think will happen then? Yup, the rocket will go way farther. So now, the second point is one that I'll explain you now. So let's put this in lightly, and then blow up. Now, why did the rocket come down again? Hmm. Well, it's because of something called gravity. Gravity just makes it harder for the rocket to fly. So if there was no gravity, well, the rocket would just be floating there. And so would you, and so would the straw, and so would everything else. So because of gravity, the rocket can just continue flying up. It'll eventually crash down because it loses kinetic energy. Here's the thing, as I told you earlier, less tape and less paper makes the rocket lighter. And guess what happens if you make this lighter? Well, it'll go higher, faster, and probably go farther too. So, now, as you might know, that we also added fins. Four fins to be exact. So, why did we add those fins? It's not just to make the rocket look cool and make them realistic. Well, real rockets also need this. You know why it needs this? It's because to keep it balanced stable and make it go in a straight line. So that will be for today. Hope you had lots of fun making your straw rocket 
and gonna have a rocket of a time. So enjoy the rest of this amazing summer.